you have a web app or API and you are running multiple instances of your app in different regions and you are looking for a single front end through which your clients can reach to your back end instances unaware of how many instances you are actually running and you are looking for a web application firewall which can protect your back end services from the http attacks then microsoft azure has two offerings for this one is application gateway and another one is azure front door application gateway is a regional load balancer whereas azure front door is a global load balancer in this video we will learn about application gateway we will see what is application gateway we will look into the logical components of application gateway to understand how exactly it works we will also do a quick demo we will deploy application gateway we will deploy our app services and we will see how the application gateway will load balance the traffic between our app services hi this is shri welcome to another video of shri tech talk if you are new here i do blogging and make youtube videos on dotnet and azure if you haven't already please do subscribe and help me grow this channel let's get into it now application gateway is a layer 7 load balancer layer 7 is the osi model that we all know which understands http https and websocket connections it is a web traffic load balancer that manages traffic between your web applications it can inspect incoming http request look into additional attributes of the http request and based on it it can take the routing decisions as i said before application gateway is a regional load balancer what does that mean is it always gets deployed into a virtual network so it will have a public ip address and optionally a private ip address too now let's look into the logical components of application gateway to understand how exactly this works i got this diagram from microsoft official documentation this diagram clearly explains all the logical components we'll start with the backend pool the backend pool could be anything it could be virtual machine virtual machine scale set or url app services another point to note here is these apps within a backend pool can exist in different regions for example an app service can exist in australia east and another one can exist in australia southeast and we can have application gateway deployed in a complete region altogether this is what we will be doing in demo then the next one is front end the front end is nothing but it's a just a, a static ip address in a way the entry point then we have the listeners we will configure the listener with ip port protocol and host name when listener receives the incoming request it will inspect the http request to see the ip port protocol and host name if they match the listener accepts the request we can have multiple listeners configured here and there are two types of listeners basic listener and multi-site listener multi-site listener nothing but like for example if you see here we have a single front-end ip but we can configure application gateway for different sites you will have multiple listeners with the same ip port and protocol but it uses the host name from the header to identify the listener we will see this one in the demo then we have the web application firewall so optionally you can enable the web application firewall we are not going to details of this one but at a high level it checks the headers and body of http request against the waf rule if the request is valid it is routed to the back end if request is not valid based on the waf mode it will be either rejected or evaluated and logged and then it is forwarded to the back end then we have the rules this is a key component that binds the listeners and the backend set when a listener accepts a request the request routing rule forward the request to the backend or redirects to the elsewhere so the basic rule all the requests on the listener are forwarded to the associated backend and whereas we have the path based rule these rules route the request on the associated listener to a specific backend set based on the url in the request and there are uh, things like redirection and rewrite rules we will look into those when we do the demo then we have http setting a rule is linked to http setting http setting it does the things like re-encryption 
cookie affinity, training, and custom prompt. Now let's get started with the demo. If you don't understand some of the terms, don't worry. When we do the demo, it will make more sense to you. This is what we will be doing in the demo. We have two app services. We will be deploying these app services in different regions. One will be deployed in Australia East. Another one will be deployed in Australia Southeast. Then we will deploy application gateway inside a virtual network and we will be deploying this application gateway in a different region. We will be doing that in Australia Central. Then we will use this application gateway to load balance the traffic between our app service. We will be putting these two app services inside the same backend pool. Let's get started with it. I'm in Azure portal. Let's create the app services first. I will be creating this in App Gateway AE Resource Group. Australia is, it could be just, you know, uh, I'm doing .NET Core, that's okay. And But this will be in Australia East region. And the school size, the free one should do. Review and create. Create. While this app service resource gets created, let's create another app service in Australia Southeast. Let's put this one also in the same resource group. Then this is Australia Southeast Gateway. Just, you know, .NET code, this should be okay. Australia Southeast. This one is should be okay. Just click on review and create. Click on create. Now let's go to our resource group. Now let's create a virtual network. We will be deploying our application gateway into this virtual network. We're going to use the same resource group, BNET Gateway. And we will be creating this one in Australia Central Region. Review and create. Create. Now let's go to our resource group. If you see here, we already have our app services created. Let's open these app services. Let's simply go to App Service Editor and just edit the content of this app service. Let's do the same here as well editor let's open the editor of this one and if i come here the hosting let's just take this off and do an uh, h1 save and this is australia southeast region save now just close these two and if you go and browse the url yep this is australia east region and this is Australia Southeast region. Good. If I go back here and do a refresh, yeah, we also have the VNet resource created. Now let's go to the VNet and create a subnet for our application gateway. Click on the subnet. We'll say app gateway. Just leave everything to default and click and save. We have the subnet created. Now let's go to our resource group. Okay, now let's create the application gateway resource. I will name this one as a app gateway. We're going to deploy this in Australia central region and standard B2 is okay. We don't want auto scaling for this demo purpose. So this instance count one should be okay. Then virtual network. Yep, we're going to place this in VNet App Gateway Virtual Network and App Gateway Subnet. Now, the next thing is to configure front end. So, as we discussed before, it needs to have a static IP address. Let's create one. Just say that and click OK. Now, go to the next. Now, we have to configure the backends. We'll just name our backend pool as backend pool. We're going to add targets in our backend pool, which will be app services. Our app service east one, app service south one. Click on add. So we have the front end IP address. We have the backend, backend pool with the two targets, Australia east and Australia southeast. Then go to the configuration. We have the front end and the backend. Now, if you see here, we have option to create a routing rule. We haven't configured the listeners yet, but let's see. If you click on the routing rule, you have an option to create a listener here. 
we are creating a listener and we are tying up this one with the backend target and that's what this rule is all about we're just going to name this one as the rule one and the priority is 100 if you have multiple rules then you just want to mention the order in which you want your rules to be executed for our demo purpose we just have only one rule so simply rule one priority is 100 should be okay now let's create a listener i will just name this one as a listener one and the front end ip is the one which we created the public ip address the protocol is http if i go with https we have to upload our custom certificate so for the demo purpose http is okay for us and the port is it and the listener type is basic not multi-site so if it is a multi-site you just have to mention the uh, host name as we discussed before but this is just basic should be okay and we are not configuring any error pages if you select yes there is four, 502 403 these are the errors which are written from the backend and in such cases the application gateway can display the custom error page we don't have that one for now so we have the rule which which is tying up the listener to a backend target we haven't created the backend target yet let's go to the backend target in the backend target it could be a backend pool or a redirection to a listener again or an external site completely so for demo purpose we will be just doing the backend pool our backend pool and the backend settings is nothing but http settings so let's create one one the backend protocol our app services uses https so it should be https and it is a well-known CS certificate i haven't uploaded any custom certificate there so just well-known CS certificate is okay and we are not configuring any cookie based affinity no connection training and the request amount is 20 is okay the host name should be yes and it should pick the host name from the backend target because for demo purpose when i hit the application gateway url we are not passing any host name it could have simply pick the host name from the backend target that's all good simply click on add okay we have provided everything that is required to create a rule and it is not a path based rule if it is a path based rule you can go and mention for this path divert the request to specific backend pool but we are not doing all of that now simply click on add so we have the front end rule and the backend the rule will decide which backend should it go to so if you go to the configure rule we have configured the listener with these properties port and the protocol and the front end ip when an http request is received it will try and check for the protocol whether it is http or https request and it will look for a port number port number and based on those values it will be forwarded to appropriate listener that's what we discussed in our previous thing create okay we have the application gateway resource created now let's go to our resource group we have all the resources that are needed for this demo got created now let's go to application gateway just copy this and let's yep this is working this is hitting the australia east region that's well and good now let's copy this url and go to a private browsing and see yep australia east do a control f i again southeast east southeast just to confirm again let's do an f12 now your network tab hit f5 yep just inspect this request if you see here this is from australia east domain yep and do an f5 again southeast inspect the request again this is from australia southeast yep so now it is kind of balancing the http load between our app services and the app services are in different region one is in australia east region other one is australia southeast region and we have application gateway which is kind of balancing the load between these two and for this one we haven't enabled the waf we are not going into the details of the waf now let's secure our apps only to the application gateway for that let's go to virtual network service endpoints let's enable the service endpoints for app services so in that case app service is a pass resource for us you just select microsoft.web which is for application services and this is from application gateway click add this will add the service endpoint while 
that configures the service endpoint we can go to our app service network setting we'll just impose some restrictions on the inbound traffic click on add rule app gateway in just 100 virtual network yep we just want to allow it only from app gateway subnet click on the add rule go to other one networking access restrictions add rule priority 100 virtual network click on add rule so this has created a rule it will allow traffic only from the application gateway and deny everything else and same here in australia east app service as well and we also enabled service endpoints from our virtual network subnet where our application gateway deployed now if i access this again copy the url i go to incognito browser hit enter yep australia east region australia southeast that's it for this demo if you like the content please do subscribe like share and help me grow this channel i'll catch you in the next video thank you